All right. Let's see what I have here, what I have here. I got some lovely brochures made that anybody and everybody can find online. You just put in Parental Alienation Awareness Organization, Parental Alienation Awareness Day, Parental Alienation Movement, whatever, you can find it. I can even give you the links so you can find it yourself. So this is one particular brochure that says, what is parental alienation and alienating acts harming your child? So in the very middle here, it says, preventing child from meeting the other parent. Hmm, did that happen with me and Credence? Let's see. They took him away from me, didn't give him back to me for the first alienation period was 22 months. So, yep, check. Making false allegations of abuse against the other parent, check, check, check. They not only lied about numerous things, but they played dirty, went to court. They, the evil ones, the other party, my so-called parents, brother, sister, the whole nine yards. They lied about a lot of stuff and um, pretty much because it's in the court paperwork or because <sighs> it's like people think that um, it's made out of gold, that it's, it is what it is and that's not the way it was. Uh, people have told me, which is weird, stop Mimsy! <laughs> people have told me that I was positive for meth when I gave birth to my second son. First of all, I've never had a dirty UA in my life. Two, I had volunteered for a residential treatment center by the time that I gave birth to my second son. So it's like, where, how do you guys get this info? Or for my so-called cousin who said that I was an unfit mother and the judge said that my rights were severed. Like, excuse me, can you give me paperwork on that? Can you give me links? Because all of that is hearsay and all of you are believing hearsay. Do you not understand that? I can show you the proof and I have proof. Even if it's like any and all little things that I did do wrong are being used against me and I'm human just like everybody else. I didn't do as much as everybody else things that I did or I'm told that I did and even if I did, I redeemed myself. I came back from all that. Okay, now I'm rambling. Let's go back to this. <clears throat> discussing court cases or your marital history with the child. So, I was told that I wasn't allowed to talk about court, the judge, anything with my son because he was little at the time. So, supposedly my parents and I had an agreement. We were going to discuss certain things, particularly his piece of shit biological sperm donor at a certain age but they lied to me. They did that too. They told Credence whatever they wanted to tell him. And then that was that. I never got to be involved one way or another. They got to do what they wanted to do. All the time, every time. Uh, bad mouthing, speaking negatively, the other parent or their family. Of course, of course they were always bad mouthing me. Of course they freaking were. Even if you don't believe it, I know it. Even though I can't prove it, I know it. We all know it. There's so many lies out there and there's so many things that you guys believe or think or want it to be true and it's not and I'm not scared of you or to prove it to you so all you gotta do is ask, show your face, but y'all just fucking coward and hide and run just like what the evil ones do, taught you best, right? Fucking talk shit and then run. <sighs> cowards, cowards I say. Alright, the last one is not allowing a child to freely express their love for the other parent. Well, that one's easy because my son, having to live with his personal alienators and abusers, he had to cope and do what he had to do. So um, he couldn't be excited about being with me. He couldn't be excited or tell my, my parents, his grandparents, good or bad about me because he would have to see how they acted or how they are and he would have to reciprocate that and that was something that nobody wanted, especially for a little boy. I didn't get prepared for this one, but I'm sure I can do this one too. Making a child take sides or choose between parents, obviously. 
My uh, garbage is being taken away. Stop it! Stop it! Okay. So, uh, yep, obvious. I never had a chance. Withdrawing love, gifts, or bribing the child to reject the other parent. There are so many things that I had to send um, certifiably or... Um, there were just so many things that I sent credence over the years. Some things got lost, some things came back. It's just, it's always been fun trying to get, give my son birthday gifts, holiday gifts, just all that jazz. It's been, it's been a joy. Uh, making a child fearful of the other parent. Uh, yeah, my son, when he was little, four or five years old, was told to look out for mommy's eyes because they know that I am marijuana friendly, so to look for my eyes and see if they're red. That's not cool, that ain't cool. He was supposed to just come over and hang out with me and be with his mom and just be a little boy. Not to be looking out and answering to my parents and what's going on, that's bullshit. That's why he never got to just be. Um, asking the child to spy on the other parent. I already covered that one, didn't I? Asking the child to keep secrets from the other parent. Well, We already know that my parents like to lie, so me personally, I don't, I think that if parents, adults, want children to lie, that teaches children to lie. It's just not a good conduct. And also, given that my parents are who they are and how they are and all that, come on, Lizzie, up, come on, pretty dog. That, uh, Sorry, I'm kind of losing my train of thought here. <laughs> um, that, uh... They always ask us to lie. Always wanted me to lie, can never be truthful for it with anybody, so why would I think anything's different now? They were always taught and trained to lie, 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 lie. Now my heater's on. Signing out.